the second day of uh, the fourth month in 2020. We are happy to be in your space this morning and, uh, you know, to bring the brightest out of life in spite of all that is happening around the world. Of course. Now, so much seems to be going on. And so much seems to be going on this time. Mm, and mm, with the coronavirus mm. pandemic, it seems mm. the world is at a standstill. But day. hey, mm, remember, mm. if you follow the health precautions, you will definitely be safe. Of course, this is only about the time we talk about it. Because today we're about to talk. We're going to have fun. Corona free day. But let's just have fun, right? Talking about yes. your safety now, keep your hand sanitizers closer mm -hmm. uh, than you are keeping them now. So yes. they should always be with you. Pull right them. now, ensure that you wash your hand at all times. Also, do your best. Try to keep your hands away from your eyes, your nose, your mouth until you've washed. Yes. Right? Until you've washed them. Because you actually, it's almost impossible. It's almost impossible, yeah. yeah. So we just ensure that you've washed them. Exactly. Social of distancing. Of course. Yes, of course. that's that. all it takes. Now, we have a lot lined up to make your morning the mm. best to help you start your day. And guess what? It is Wake Up Nigeria. Of course. Stay with us as we bring to you top match entertainment over <laughs> here on Wake Up Nigeria. Of course, it's your favorite TV family entertainment breakfast show. My mm. name is Tokwai Oloni. Mike Mesikeno is mine. Stream with us at tvcentertainment.tv on Facebook. It's at TVC Connect. And guess what? Today is just going to be like every other day we've had this week. Mm, mm. You have to send in your comments with the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC on exactly. all our social media oh, platforms. On Facebook and Twitter most especially. Send mm -hmm. in your pictures, send in your videos. I'll your be, selfies. You know how it is. We're going to be showing them today. We're going to be having fun. We're going to be very interactive today. Send your pictures, your videos. Uh, let me know. I know a number of you sent the last time and I can still get responses and replies even up to today. Yes. I will take them and take more. Let's interact with ourselves mm -hmm. via, you know, social media. media. That's the best way now to yes. interact, you know. And let's have fun today. Yeah, and remember that you should download our mobile app. It's available on Android and iOS stores. You can watch us from anywhere in the world. But hey, Mike, mm. tell them about the birthday shout out. All right, today. of course, that's the first thing we do. We're kicking off with birthday shout outs. Now, I know a number of you have always asked for birthday shout outs. It's mm -hmm. big. Hey, it's your special day. Forget all the everything. We're going to celebrate you. Uh, for some inspiration, we have Daily Vulnerable by Chude Ginowo. Showing, I don't know, nude pictures they claimed. Everybody loves And then, of course, uh, for spontaneous feedback on what's happening around you, social media is all through the show. Come on, hey, hit us up Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm going to be having fun, eh? <laughs> Everything you want to show us, show us. Please ensure that it's something that is suitable for mornings. Let's see how it is around your place this morning. Yes. Now for art display, we have Sylvester Aguda joining us via Skype to tell us what he has been up to and we will be checking out some of his artwork. Mm. You definitely want to see Why that. playing golf. I like that. <laughs> now, of course, our kids are very important at this time. They are currently at home. So we'll be having a virtual tutor at De Olojoba to guide parents on how to tutor their kids while they're at home this time. It's going to have fun, man. Yes, and finally, model, photographer, and ex Big Brother Ninja housemate Toby Bakre will also be joining us via Skype for a chat. Mm, mm. How about all these clothes that <laughs> Baba is just. Okay, so it's Thursday, 2nd of April. Okay, so incidentally, yes. yesterday was the freest of prank April, April Fool's, Fool's Day. day. Ever. Like, nobody <laughs> tried themselves. See, yeah. what, what kind of joke would you have liked to, to play that <laughs> yesterday? In fact, uh, in fact, so yesterday is a friend's birthday. No one, oh, a, a good friend whose birthday is yesterday. Yeah. And of course, so whenever it's her birthday, we always think about, okay, pranks and all of that. Yeah, but yesterday, do, man, I oh, so everyone was just giving one warning that if you try yourself, try we already have a, something that's, you know, it's like, what kind of prank is this one? You know, to yeah. add pranks. So yesterday was the most free, prank, prank free. free April, April Fool's Day. Ever. Yeah. So how do you spend how do you spend April first? How was it? How was it? Did you Well it was there was nothing spectacular, but mm. when I was going back home from work, the roadblocks were like there were a, couple, a number of roadblocks. Mm. Um on like the day before the day before, the day before right? yesterday, yes. So there was a lot of um people um, police and military people on the road, so you have to show your ID cards. So it was kinda like it was kinda serious. It was serious, yeah. Yeah, but but like oh, it was just really toned down. Mm. The whole the pandemic has put like a kind of there's this aura. 
Mm. But you just have to be careful. Yeah. Like, as soon as you get home, you wash your hands. Yeah. You do all the necessary things. So as much as it was a, a new month, I mean, as much as I say happy new month, everybody say, we just pray this month. Okay. We'll end we'll Corona. End, end Corona. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. All right. But we'll have to take the news now. Oh, yes. Yeah? Okay. Everybody loves Rihanna now. But everybody forgets that I think the first week that Rihanna joined Instagram, she was banned for showing, I don't know, nude pictures they claimed. Everybody loves Tiwa Savage now. But I remember when she released the video for Wanted. I remember. The internet wanted to collapse. I remember one of my mentors wrote a full article about how Tiwa Savage is a disgrace to women. But now, everybody looks at Tiwa Savage as an icon, as a model. She's perhaps the most successful female artist from West Africa today. For these people to become what they are, they chose to face big criticism. They didn't care what other people thought about them. They didn't want you to be their friend. They didn't need you to say, I approve of Tiwa Savage, I approve of Rihanna. You see, those people you respect, that you respect deeply today, they went through big criticism for being themselves. Some of you want to post perfect pictures on Instagram. Everything must be perfect. You think about the young people that you like to admire, Whiskey, David Doe. Nobody has faced criticism more than these guys. People have called them irresponsible. People have called them shameful. People have called them arrogant. But they dare to be themselves. Do you have the courage to be yourself? Even if your friends don't approve. Even if your bosses don't approve. Even if your mother or your father doesn't approve. Do you have the courage? You want to be as special as Fela? Yeah? As Beyonce? As Jay-Z? As Bernie Sanders? As Joe Biden? As Barack Obama? But do you have the courage to take the risk and to face the blowback that these people have faced? That's a question for you to ask yourself. Oh, I love, I love, I love this one today. This one was for me. That's where we'll pick it up. This one's for this you, one's right? For me. I love this one. Oh, yeah. That's where I'll pick it up. Do you have the courage enough to be yourself? Be yourself. Why do I say this is very important? Because this time, a lot of people will discover more things about themselves True. than they would at, an, at any other time. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, I, I, I'm of that opinion that, look, you don't fully know yourself. You don't know yourself 100% yes. because you have not seen yourself in different situations. Situation. You understand? Somebody goes up, oh, the government is doing this, they are stealing money and all of that. When they put Go you and the, enter their face. You see the money you when the small one, you are inside, you're from your mom bag you are taking 20 naira taking 10 naira but you did not take 10 naira yeah. from your mommy's bag i took now how okay. do you not take i was wondering you understand so <laughs> <laughs> but it's like essential you know? services <laughs> <laughs> so are there, when you are taking 20 naira from your mommy's bag that there's 100 naira inside when the go, when the country has 100 billion you will take 10 20 <laughs> billion that's how it starts. I, start. so I, mean, I let, think. Let's not sound you know, like that. Now, let's now sound like the right thing you're supposed to okay, do. Okay, right. Yeah, so, the right thing you're supposed to do <laughs> is that you shouldn't take. Don't listen to what we are Yeah, it's true, true. So, yes. you know, just we'll, we'll find take. a way, find yourself, and then be yourself up. If, yes. For me, you know, people talk about being yourself. If it doesn't cause harm to somebody else, if it's good with man and good with whatever God you serve, who that does not hurt people. You understand? When you say it doesn't cause really harm, good. like you mean like physical harm? Physical harm. You know, okay. some people will tell you that, hey, do whatever makes you happy. Mm -hmm. There are crazy things that make some people happy. Physical harm to oh, other people okay, makes yes, some people yes, happy. Yes, so, yes, no, it's it. not about doing whatever makes you happy. That's, no, that doesn't follow. Do what makes you happy that doesn't cause harm, physical that's good with harm. people. If and it's good emotional with God. harm, please, by mm. all means. Exactly. Somebody has broken your heart, break the person's heart too now. Okay, all right. So, you know, <laughs> basically, basically, that's just about trying not to break hearts. Ah. If they break your heart, Tunko. Ah, you're not going to break a lap in his heart. I mean, that's how the circle turn, continues. One good deserves another. Wow. That's how, that's how the circle, circle continues. You keep it down, right? But then, hey, come on, send in your comments. A number of you have already started yes. sending comments. <laughs> All right, let's look at... Um, we can now take a comment. Call, Collins. Uh, Collins, I hope you're watching. <laughs> Collins. Uh, on normal Collins. At on normal Collins on Twitter. Okay. On normal Collins sends us his picture, but he says, boring lockdown. I'm sure you can hey, definitely we'll see. Now, see the says, picture. Boring lockdown. Nepa is not even helping us. Don't know if they've tested positive for coronavirus. So they are probably on, they are probably under quarantine. Okay, so uh, that, ah, that's Collins. Collins just woke up. 
Uh, let's uh, let's get to see that picture now of Collins. <laughs> Collins just woke As up. As he looks frustrated, mm. like, mm. Yeah, okay, that's Collins. <laughs> Don't Colin, mind them. Colin just woke up. Don't mind them. <laughs> that's Colin's there. And that's his statement there. It says, boring lockdown. Nepal is not even helping us. Don't know if they've tested positive for the coronavirus. So, <laughs> hello. Oh, no. uh, Colin's uh, wishing you the best at this time. Remember, you can stream live at uh, um, TVC Connect on Facebook, mm -hmm. right? Let us know. Um, stream live with us there. Stream live with us there, okay? Even um, from the app. If you mm. have our app, um, TVC, you can just go straight to the live streaming. It's just like top right, top left. Click on those three lines and you see live streaming. Mm. And you'll be connected. S someone that's using the app. Okay. Yes. At Ronix Act, Amen 19 at Ronix Act says, the lockdown suite, but could he, they go? I know. <laughs> I know. Honestly, I, I, I was thinking about it yesterday. Mm. I and my friend are talking. Mm. And I'm like, we're well, enjoying this lockdown because the fridge is still stocked. Mm. When the fridge now starts to reduce... Okay. And the money is reducing. But you know, essential um, uh, essential uh, services are still available, and food is one of them. Markets are. The money in call. Okay. Mm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, take a look at uh, uh, that's my Google assistant. I just went yeah, on there. Yeah, I have a very strong relationship. <laughs> She's always talking to you. Oh, she. Why do Why do you use male voices for this assistant? Why would Siri, you use male voices? Serious female. Serious female. Uh -uh. Alexa is female. It's female. Yes, I mean, you just need a, a relieving voice. Are you serious? If you have a male, like, okay, you should have a option. voice will scare you now. Hello, hello, <laughs> Tokwe. Good what? morning. How are you doing Get this out of my phone. Ah, Tokwe, now me, they tell that one. That's why you be shocked. Okay, so at uh, Ochi, Ochi Kanado, Ochi Kanado says, good morning, my people. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Good morning to you, Ochi Kanado. And then at uh, Kuratul, Underscore oh, can also sent a picture. Yeah, yes, he did. Eh? Okay, he did. we'll check it out. We'll check it out. But then uh, this is Raji Aisha says, uh, my family is enjoying in lag. I'm here in Katsina. Can't watch you guys peacefully. Oh uh, yeah. If so you sorry have about the that. app, if, if you, you have the app the and app. on Facebook, Facebook, you can watch us, especially the app, right? Yes. Mm. All mm -hmm. right. And then uh, this is uh, Lawal, Lawal Musefiu at MSF underscore Olawale says, I started wow. a farm in my yard. Impressive. Yes, I like that. Send I us like pictures. that. Send what us a picture farming? of the farm. <laughs> right? what Let's see. What are you farming? Hmm? Okay. Oh, and, this is funny. Uh, yeah. At <laughs> Oluka Yode, okay, oh, since no. uh, we advised government to put mobile testing labs on the street for citizens locked at home, yeah. just like polling units mm. in election. I know it's been considered it's not so um, cheap. Yeah. The modalities have to be put in place to have yeah. mobile testing. Not everybody, um, I know a few countries have it. It's yeah. not so... Um, easily available, but I know that the state government, uh, Lagos state government, has received quite a lot of uh, kudos for oh, how far for being come. for being for doing what they've done. And yes. then I want to um, reassure people: those that have seen the numbers spike, you see, yes. that the numbers have spiked doesn't mean it's getting worse. The point is that we've only tested two thousand. That's people, what I saw. There's yes. only two thousand people. So the number of people that have not been tested now, the, the pandemic could be going down, but the numbers will increase. Yeah. They will because more people will be tested. Yes. So it will increase, but doesn't mean that it, the, tide is not being, uh, the tide is not being stemmed. Yeah. What happens is that more people will be tested, but the lockdown, after the lockdown, countries that did lockdown, like, like the Spain, Italy, they started reducing. Yes. The, 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 the percentage of um, uh, in, uh, infection yeah, reduced. Yeah, reduces because so, they're not moving around. Exactly. So what happens is that the numbers will increase because more people are getting tested, but generally the pandemic, the infection rate is going to come down yeah. due to this lockdown. So yeah. the numbers are crazy, shouldn't make don't you... Make you pa yes, don't panic. Don't panic and mm -hmm. don't, don't feel downhearted and all yes. of that. Right? Just know that this just shows that the medical, the, the doctors are doing their jobs. Mm. This shows that they're actually doing the test and the people, the, the spike in the numbers just shows that people are actually getting treated. Mm. Because if it didn't increase, you'd be feeling like, oh, it's going. But the truth going. is, people are in exactly. their houses Exactly. All right. Okay, at uh, Ochikon, uh, Kanado, that's the picture talk I just spoke about. Yeah. It says, it has always been like this, lockdown day three. I have a prayer point this morning, which is God have mercy on us. Amen. Forgiveness. Yes. Nice on our TVC Connect. We're all done. We're all done, Ochikon. Thank Kanado. you. Ah, all these guys are just fresh like this in the morning. <laughs> I woke up like this. <laughs> hey, hey. I eh. woke up like this. Eh, eh. Okay. <laughs> See, I mean, I mean, nineteen is interesting. See what? Okay. I mean what did he say? He said I they struggle about with my wife. Oh, <laughs> she tell me say this is <laughs> yeah. the happiest month yep. of the last six months. That is it here. Yeah? Uh, Adronics Act. Uh, uh, amen. 
Amen with a double E night. He says, mm -hmm. I did struggle about with my wife. Oh. She tells me say, this is not the happiest month for the last six months. My dear, I'm sure this is the only month she has you at home with. I'm so telling please, you. Eat the bar. I have, I have, I feel that for, um, for Amin 19's house, mm -hmm. they'll get stronger. The yes, bond will the get bond stronger. Will get stronger. That's also what happens. Some bonds will be stronger, some bonds mm -hmm. will lose. It, look, it's, it's, a, it's a two sides of a coin. Yes. It'll happen. Some people will get stronger because they spend time together. Some people will see things they've not seen and, and do. say, hey, hey who can, was following me? Was. <laughs> How did I get here? How did I get here? <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah, that's it. It's a struggle about my wife. That's wonderful. We push you. About wars, you should continue struggling there, but in peace, right? Yes, so I'm not in, in peace. peace. Yeah, do it in peace, eh? Okay, so let's see. We still, uh, let me get back to this uh, thread. We still have more comments, yes, and all of that. Is there anyone that you can see now? Yeah, I can see from Adura of Life, mm. Mr. Mr. Underscore Judgment says, Lol, since schools has been shut down till now, mm. till now, I'm still good, no symptoms. Great, mm. okay. So, Chris, uh, Otun CMA, this is um. Uh, at matured Chris. Okay. I say Mike and Toad. Now you see, auto correction does not know what he's talking about. Hell! <laughs> who, who, who is that? He's auto correct. See, no, 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 no. What's his name? Uh, it's Chris I'm now. A, Chris I is hailing you. you. Chris, I, I know, I know, hail you. I know, that you, 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 you are not a matured somebody. You guys are doing a great job. Uh, great, doing great today. Keep up the good job, guys. Love you all. We love, love you also, from Chris. Toad. We love Toad you, Chris. Loves you too. <laughs> Chris, I know it's auto correct. Don't mind talking about Toad loves you too. <laughs> It's okay. Not talk by his don't, don't mind talk by. Okay, so uh, this is uh, Dennis. Dennis um, Uchenna says it has really encouraged me to be eating five square ah. meal. Ah! Hey! <laughs> hey. hey. Five oh, square meal. Five, wow! This is day three. Oh. This is day three. Oh. <laughs> I had eating five square meal. That means that by day fourteen, you'd have taken seventy square meals. Sorry, you're supposed in to be period of two weeks. By day seven, it will eh? still be five. See, so, by day seven, come and tweet again. I would like to know if it's two square meals. No, you know some people. You know, their path is as the righteous, it shines and brighter. It shines brighter and brighter. So from five days, they can just move to seven, seven. days. <laughs> from seven people, you know, every like hour. Pep Guardiola said in, yeah. in his interview, he said exactly. that at the end, when he was talking about what will happen, he said they will go, we'll, we'll, we'll get fat a bit. Players will get so fat. So people that's, like that's you, true. Pep Guardiola was referring to you, you'll get fat a exactly. bit. Exactly. <laughs>
He fits his mom's we, we, we are so glad that God brought you to your mother's life. Yes, Abdul Mateen. Uh, I dare you. Uh, it's your birthday, of course. This is from your mommy and daddy. Daddy, I don't your know mommy, what's here. AKA Gaddafi, Gaddafi. Alima. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at, look we are at. so grateful that you have Let us see, let us see the mommy, please. We should go to our social media. Let's see the mommy Let's now. See the look mommy. at mommy that we see. We have to see. We have to show you this we're Gaddafi. We're not doing this birthday shout out to Yes, yes, ah. mommy. <laughs> Alima. <laughs> she has to just post it like this. You see that why we to... thank God that he's in the, in the mommy's life. That he boy, calmed the trouble he fits the mom. Ah. Like he fits the mom. <laughs> With all I've heard. God I'm just sure. looked at the mom and said, take this take boy. Take this boy. He, he'll, be your, he'll be your remedy. <laughs> all right. Happy birthday, Abdul Martin. Okay, let's move on from there. We have yes. Remy Olajide. Ah, Remy, Baba. Hey, Remy. Special birthday this time. Ah. E, e, e. Hey, Remy is fine, though. Ah. Wow, wow, wow. Ah. What's wrong with this, this, this is a new find. This is a new, okay, this is a new, new find. find. Remy Olajide. Happy see. birthday. Zay Zay. Uh, Zay and of course the whole team. Yes. The whole team. Creative TVCE is wishing you, I'm Remy Olajide, a happy birthday, Remy. Very cool guy. Great guy, great guy, I must say. Happy birthday, Remy. Happy birthday, Remy. Happy birthday. Happy okay, birthday. I think I'll take it back. A lot of great people were born in this place. There were plenty, I tell you, man. I tell you, great people were born in April. Yeah. Happy birthday, Remy. Happy birthday. Okay, no, it's March, right? It's the first. Yes, yes, it's so March, yeah. But still, no. still the same. Quarter to April. Quarter to April. Almost April. Almost April. Like, first two I March. just one hey. day like this. Why don't do April fool? You just, then, ah? Ah, just, just ah, come back. Let me fool you people and come. Just do <laughs> Kesimole. You know that back move? Push. Yeah. Ah. Hey. <laughs> okay. Moving on, we have Aremu Yetunde celebrated, celebrated your birthday on the 30th mm. of March from Asset Queen. Hey, oh, wow. Asset Queen. Asset Queen. Ah, that is from... Uh, Mudupe Sani, a.k.a. Asset, Asset Queen. Queen. Wishing you, Aremu Yetunde, a happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. And then, of course, uh, Bukumi Odubajo. First of April is your birthday. Kotsi of Halima Dawodu. Happy birthday, Bukumi. Happy birthday, Bukumi. Happy birthday, Bukumi. Of course, uh, mm, we have a Dickness, Adeyemi, Olushola, Abigail, uh, April 4th, courtesy your children and your grandchildren. Happy birthday, Happy Dickness. We have engineer Timile in Michael celebrated your birthday on the 30th of March, and this is from Ola Dakbo Christus. Happy birthday, engineer! Happy birthday. Gabriel, 30th of March from Oluwafemi. Happy birthday, Esther. 
Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Mrs. Abiodun Egea um, celebrating your birthday on the 1st of April from Mrs. Akinwale. Wow, barista. Mm. Happy birthday. Then Mrs. Badigesin Dashola Idayat, March 30th from Idowu Muhidin Abiodun. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 30th of March. Happy birthday. Mrs. Viviana Foegba celebrated your birthday on the 31st of March, and this is this is from your daughters. Mm. Mm. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Kurunko Esther Chisum, 7th of April. This is from uh, Tony Mario Akujobi. And, uh, okay, Felicity and Mary Teresa and Chiazo. That is like a family greeting. Yes. Happy birthday. Yes. Happy, birthday. Yes. Happy birthday. Yes. Happy birthday. Yes. Yeah, I also have a, a birthday shout out to a friend, Esther Wane. Happy birthday, happy oh, birthday, happy April birthday. 1st. You can see it now on the screen, oh, the social okay. media screen there. Yeah. Um, Esther Wane, a birthday, April 1st. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Esther Wane. Happy birthday. Okay, <laughs> Ekutu. Happy I'm sure birthday. I give her you? No, 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 she <laughs> had the name before me. Oh, okay. <laughs> if I can, should I call the full name? Ekutu. <laughs> happy birthday, Esther. Happy birthday, Happy Esther. birthday. April. Now it's the second hour of your new metal Udo breakfast show on Nigerian TV, Wake Up Nigeria. And we are not holding back from bringing the best that you deserve to get your day going. Mm. Now one hour already gone and we have one hour, 45 minutes to go. Ah, now, now uh, for us here, it's all about positive vibes. Now yes. that's what we bring your way to make sure that you are not bored at home and you stay safe from the pandemic. My name is Mike. And I am Talk by Olowunio. Now remember to send in your comments across all our social media platforms. We would love to hear from you. We would love, love to, to know what you're doing. Mm. If you're eating Eba, like some people told us in the last hour, yes. if you're struggling with your wife or bed space, mm. and if your children are getting you crazy, whatever it is you're doing, send in your comments and use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. And uh, if you have issues with PA, you can of course stream live 
uh, you should not be on the go now except your yes. essential services. It's at TVC Entertainment or TV and also TVC Connect on Facebook. I remember we have an amazing app. Now, there are a lot of Nigerians in the diaspora. They want to know what's happening in Nigeria. Tell them they can download our app on their Android and iOS stores and it allows you to watch us from anywhere in the world. Wonderful, wonderful. I love that. I love that. Now, you know that for a while, of course, we've not had our kitchen segment. That is, of course, due to the lockdown for movement and all that. But you know that we've got to. Don't worry. Let's, uh, when all of this simmers down, we'll be back on that note. But then, hey, come on. Uh, you know how it is. She mentioned, of course, that you can send us your comments. I'll go straight up to Facebook and let's see the comments, the pictures, and the videos yeah. you have there. Social media will be interacting with you live. Just uh, talk to us. Let's see how it is going with you. Yes, and sending your selfies. It's really, and our baby girls, send your selfies now. The guys have been winning. Yeah, us. yeah. The guys are like five zero now. They're like up, like Come up. on, yeah, five zero. It's not five true. Zero. Five. It's to don't lie on you on Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday. Uh, Thursday, right? The lies are for Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's it, the social media segment, of course. And then, of course, we have uh, for our at display, Sylvester Aguda will join us via Skype to tell us what he has been up to. Now, with the recent outbreak of COVID-19, our kids are currently at home. So we will be having a virtual tutor at De Olowo Joba to guide parents on how to tutor their kids. And then, of course, uh, finally, we're joined on Skype of, uh, with uh, Toby Bakri, who's a photographer and ex and housemate. We'll be chatting with him and know how far he's going. Yes. Mm. Okay, so, yeah, it's all about, like we said, it's all about good vibes and all of that. We have uh, nine cases recovered. Oh, discharge actually. Charge. Discharge. So that means that the recovery is complete and all of that wonderful good news. And uh, more will follow. Yes. More will follow. Let's just, uh, what happens is that we know of a necessity that mm -hmm. because of a stay at home, people, this, the rate will decrease. We curbed, I'm yes. Very sure. We're very sure of all it's of that. It's very so, important that we stay at home. Yeah. It's very important just that we wash our hands. Mm. You know, staying at home does not mean that they are punishing us. It's just because they want to be able to curb it. Mm. So staying at, and then seeing the spike does not mean that, yo, that this thing has come to stay in Nigeria. Yeah. It just means that people, they're actually doing their jobs yeah. and more getting testing. to test more people and start treatments on those people. So, those people. so I'm positive. You know, Don't yeah. panic. Don't panic. Just stay Try to leave your spirit. I know, I know, I know um, when I was getting back from work uh, the other day, I saw a number of people who were playing football on the street. Uh, you yes. you, actually, you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, you shouldn't because, uh, I mean, the professional footballers had to stop. Exactly. Because a lot of them, so you that are playing amateur football on the streets, that should be, yeah. um, you know, something to tell you that, hey, at that point, you should not do that and all of that. But hey, come on, that's all we can take now from this hour, just now. Yeah. Uh, welcome back and let's uh, take a look at uh, the headlines of the dailies once again. I uh, would we'll kick off from uh, Guardian, okay? And we have here COVID-19 cases hit 174 despite 50 measures by uh, presidency and uh, the riders underneath there. The first one says 4,655 exposed persons still untested, says NCDC boss. Presidential task force unveils protocol for lockdown policy. And we can see here fumigation of Langtang North local government area of Plateau State by Chairman Dr. Lavin Ubanduma to prevent COVID-19 in the council yesterday. Now, this is the kind of fumigation I like to see. This is industrial fumigation. I like this. And okay, then we have stranded motorists as a task force blocked the highway leading to Abuja yesterday. And uh, we have here beside the first picture story, marketers give terms for selling petrol at 123 naira 50 kobo. Government must make them comply, says Chamber. Nigeria earns uh, $32.63 uh, billion from oil and gas in 2018. And uh, what would we have here? Bauchi confirms third coronavirus case and declares 14-day lockdown. And fear grips Oshun residents as corona cases rise to 14. All of this on the front page of The Guardian. Moving on to the front page of the nation, this morning we have foreign returnees imports 12 COVID-19 cases into Oshu. State seeks federal government supports, results of 56 tests expected. 
Aqua Ibom gets five cases as national tally rises to 174. We have a photo story here. Getting set for battle. Fumigators ready to wipe out the virus in Langtang, Plateau State yesterday. Also, we have a photo story that gives us a clear analysis of what's going on around the world as regards COVID-19 global cases. We have 926,625, 46,438 deaths and 193,431 recovered cases. It goes on to give us clear analysis of what's happening across other countries. At the top of the paper, we have CBN coalition raise 15.32 billion naira to fight the virus. Please for more cash. My COVID-19 story by Mackinday. You might want to read that to know his story. On a lighter note, we have Shalawa. We shares nude photos to block blackmailer. And lastly, a career explosion. I didn't know I carried explosives. You can read that and more in the nation. And then up uh, to the punch. FJ reviews lockdown as COVID-19 cases rise by 35. Food markets to open 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. every other day. The first rider, the second one says nine cases surface in Oshun and seven in FCT and heat 174. There's a picture story here there of Ogun State, Lagos and Kaduna. The first one is Commissioner of Police in Ogun State, Kenneth Ebrimson, at the entry point to Lagos on Lagos to Banana Expressway. And the second one in Lagos is that of security agents at Fagba bus stop along the Iju Road. And uh, the third one is men of Kaduna State Vigilante Services and the local joint task force. And they are at Hain Rigasa in Kaduna during the enforcement of the lockdown in these states. And the uh, federal government distributes 20,000 naira to 5,000 households in FCT to die as rainstorm wrecks havoc in Ondo, Enugu, and Nasarawa. Uluo, uh, ex-AGF, opposed sitting of isolation center in Obasanjo Hill Top. And uh, we also have here, ignore f new fuel price, Ipman tells marketers. That's the top right corner of the paper. All of this on the front page of a punch. Moving on to the front page of Daily Sun this morning, we have Malami rides head of court on time-bound cases. On day two of total lockdown, federal government okays four-hour food sales daily. Markets now open 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Approves release of 70,000 tons of grains. Presidency lists 50 measures government is taking. We have a photo story here showing fumigation of a street in Langtang, North local government area of Plateau State, against the spread of COVID-19 yesterday. Civil defense operative arrest trader who defied federal government's order to stay at home at Maraba, Nasarawa State yesterday. Scores killed as NAF bombs bandits hide out in Niger. IP man tr threatens strike over fuel price reduction. Claims marketers lost 5.5 billion naira in last reduction. Lockdown, presidency, APC governors, Hit Shoinka, Falano and Adegorua. Lastly, we have COVID-19, 23 new cases confirmed in Lagos, FCT, Akwaibom, Oshu, Edo, Ekiti, Kaduna and Bauchi as figures rise to 174. Global cases to reach 1 million soon, says WHO. You can see this and more in the Daily Sun. And then Nigerian Tribune, COVID-19, federal government releases over 30 new rules to shape lockdown. Says over 2,000 tested so far. We should do more with testing. Markets to open four hours daily in Lagos, Ogun and Abuja. The presidency mocks showing how over stands against lockdown page three. Undo explosion. I didn't know I was carrying explosives, says the driver. Gunmen kill three and injure seven in Plateau. And there's a chat uh, there of progression of coronavirus cases in Nigeria. And uh, questions in Oyo as Oshun records positive cases from Abidjan returnees. Attempt by returnees to leave isolation center in Ijibu foiled. And uh, total lockdown, our last option, says Makinde. And 5,400 cases of COVID-19 in Africa, that's from the World Health Organization. Uh, banks and others donate 15 billion naira to CBN COVID fund. Mm. Top left corner, equities market opens with 104.2 billion naira loss. And uh, we also have here uh, a sort of uh, representation just beside that uh, chart there of the number of cases as per the states in Nigeria. This and more on the front page of the Tribune. Moving on to the front page of Daily Trust, we have COVID-19 status of 20 governors unknown. 
three test positive, th 13 negative. 13 ministers are silent. It's a moral burden to declare, says lawyers. CSOs react. We have photo stories of different governors here. Buhari approved 70,000 MT of grains as palliative. Emir of Jere, Dr. Usman, dies at 70. Zamfara battles poor school facilities, fraud in students feeding. Also, we have how Abidjan returnees worsened COVID-19 crisis in Oshun State. Federal government revises fuel pump price to 123.50 kobo per litre. 25.6 billion naira to be slashed from National Assembly budget. So you can see this and more on Daily Trust. Okay, all right, that's it. That's it on our look at the headlines of the dailies this morning. Let's uh, take a look at what we can do with your fitness. This one, you should join it. You've been at home eating and all of that and getting fat. All right, you should join in the fitness right now. Next time you're exercising, you should always know that your cardiovascular exercise are very, very important. Welcome to the fitness segment with Ben Fit. This morning, today, is going to be awesome because I'm going to pump your heart out very pumping. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Are you good to go? It's cardio exercises today. Don't, don't go anywhere. It's going to be interesting. I'm clapping for you because I know you can do it. Are you ready? Foot fire. Take your time. Take your time. Keep pumping. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Foot fire. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. Relax it. Relax it. Are you ready? I want you to repeat that exercise again. Two hands this way. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> That's good, relax it. Number two exercise, foot fire and burpees. Whoa, 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 whoa. Master exercise. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, go. One, two, three, down, go. Boom, huh. Ha. One, two, three, four, go. Come on, boom. Yes. One, two, three, four, go. Yes. Go, go, go. One. Two, three, four, whoo, ha, one, two, three, and relax it. Whoa, yes. If you're following the exercises, you should know that it's not easy. I'm sure by now, your heart rate will be pumping. I want to regulate it. Stay calm, stay calm. Number two exercises, oh, number three. Thank you for that. Number three, the stomach truck. You go, you see? Yeah, yeah, that's the exercise, the basics, and if you can do the advanced, come on, let's do this. You see that? Are you ready? Ready? Because it's cardio! Five, four, three, two, go! Come on, come on, keep pumping, keep pumping. Each exercise lasts for 40 seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't stop, don't stop. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax it. That's good. You rest for 20 seconds. You can see the way I'm breathing hard. It's not because the weather is hot. It's because I'm working out. Yes. Are you ready? Ready? Number four. Number four. The almighty jumping jack. You know what jumping jack is? But take your time. I'm giving you another variation today. Here you go. One. Two, one, and two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, and two. Come on, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one. Let's go. One, two, one, two more. One, two, one, one more. One, two, one, and take your time. Yes. The last exercise is going to be star jump. If you love star, let me see your hands up. Yeah, I'm a superstar. Are you ready? Take your time. Squat position and up. See, squat position and up. Squat position 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 up. Squat position, one more to go. Squat position and relax it. Awesome, awesome. I'm sure by now, if you follow these exercises, your heart rate will be up. I want you to regulate it. Inhale and exhale. Inhale 
and exhale. Just one more to go. Inhale and exhale. I promise you one thing, good health. Follow this exercise. It's still your number one breakfast show. Don't go anywhere. Wake Up Nigeria continues. Welcome, people. Now, I hope you all have been um, dropping comments on the social media because we're definitely going to be taking that soon. Now, with the recent outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic, that has forced many families to stay at home. Now, we have Ademolegu Olowa Joba, a human capital development professional whose work is focused on leveraging technology to improve access to education. Now, he's here with us to teach parents how to encourage their children to continue learning from the confines of their home during this sensitive period. Now, he's joining us via Skype, and let's talk to him. Hi, good morning. Hello, good morning. Oh, you sound really excited during this period. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are well, you handling yes, the isolation? I, um, really excited to join you this morning. Oh, thank you thank very you, much. Thank you. How are you handling the isolation over um, at your side? The, um, if I get you clearly, that how, how am I finding uh, the, the isolation? The yes. Isolation period. Yes. Well, yeah. So I'm I'm enjoying it. It uh, um, I've not had this kind of opportunity in a very long time to bring some sense of calmness and order into my life and to just take stock and um, reevaluate and see um, how to do things better. Um, I've never had this kind of peace and serenity in a very long time. Oh, wow. So I'm making the best, um, the best of this period. Okay, okay. I'm sure that explains why you're in high spirits. So tell us now, for kids who are at home, a lot of parents are probably, some are having good coping mechanisms, but some are probably having a hard time. What, how can you teach parents now on best ways to connect with their kids and best ways to manage them during this period? Okay, so... Um, so let's start from having the parents and the kid at home at this particular period. Yeah. So first, it's a very good uh, opportunity for parents and kids to bond this period. So um, a typical Lagos life, Lagos is a very fast-paced city where you have uh, parents and their kids being separate for a very long time. The kids, are, they go to school, the parents probably spend a lot of time in traffic, and in the, the ozzle and puzzle of um, the day, they have limited time to, to bond. Yeah. So this is first a very, very good opportunity for you to bond with your child, for you to bond with your kids and see how well um, they've come and um, also see areas where they need improvement. Mm -hmm. And this is that opportunity for you to identify those things and see how you can improve them and how you can help them to become better and for them to also build a great and a better relationship with you and for you to also be a better relationship with your family. Okay. Now, speaking about bonding, now what kind of bonding skills or bonding methods or mechanisms would you suggest for parents to take during this period? Because we know it goes beyond just having conversations with the kids. What would you say is the best conversation starter or what, do you, what would you say is the best way to start a bonding method for, for children and parents? Okay, so even though I'm... Um, I'm not a parent yet, but I do know that a good place to start, like you mentioned, that is not always about conversation, but these conversations are very important also. It's not a bad place to start because if, especially if you, um, if, if, you, um, if you acknowledge the fact that this is a generation that the kids of these days, they want to have conversations. You can't just um, tell them away you need to have conversations, critical conversations with them. So that's even a, a place to start from, by having all of these conversations that you've not had the opportunity to have with them. And it's in the process of having that conversation that you also find out a lot of things about them. You understand that these kids also have changing interests per time. And that at this point, and it's from that process that you understand the interest and you don't, it's not a one size fit all kind of uh, thing where you would say these are definitely the things that would uh, bring about bonding. It differs from child to child, but it's in the process of having that conversation with them that you understand their specific and unique needs. And you know, 
uh, I, 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 in addition to that, you can. Uh, this is a time to play games with them, depending on the age that they are. If you are a dad, that you've probably not um, been around when your kids are baiting. This is a time to, especially the, those of the same gender, you can call them. That okay, let's do this. Let's let's go. Let's play games. Let's um. This is the time to play your PS4. Okay. Let's evaluate your learning your okay. your learning journey. Let's look at the things that you have challenges with in school. Yeah. For instance, for a child who doesn't like mathematics and keeps saying, yeah, I don't like. So this is a time to even understand why this child always clamor that he doesn't like this particular subject. Object. Or this is a time for you to also find out why, um, why he has reservations or she has reservations about particular things. And this is a time to also learn and read with them, to also show them how to... Um, how to maximize this period and yeah. leveraging on technology, okay. which is where we play, and how to leverage on technology to gain up-to-date knowledge and to update yourself and to also interact with their teachers. Yes. Now, speaking about um, having challenges with education, how, how would you advise parents at this time to practice the homeschooling method? Because we don't know how long this is going to last, and parents might want to adopt homeschooling. How do they go about this? Yes, yeah, so... Asking parents to practice homeschooling might be, yeah, it might be something that is a bit challenging at this uh, at the initial phase because it's not something that they probably were used to. It's a new phase, and the interesting thing about this phase is that there is no one that can beat hand uh, to, to, to to the chest that they are uh, that they have become a master in this game or that they've become masters in this game. We are figuring this out every single day. Better ways to, to, to engage these kids, better way to do all the things that is required of us as citizens and as parents. But a good way, uh, a good way to start is even to evaluate what their performance, evaluate their scores, evaluate their report, evaluate. You know, a lot of parents, they just look at the scores of their parents, of their kids. They never really take time to look at um, areas where the kids are lacking, to really evaluate the things that the kids need to move on to the next phase in the academics, and even to sit down with them to try and understand what the challenges are. Yeah. So that is a very good place to start from. And to be honest, yeah. it, uh, you, you don't have to be like the uh, entire person or the only person that is teaching them at this period. That is uh, why we have, we have come up with a platform, Virtual Tutors, at this particular point in time, where in addition to whatever learning aid, in addition to whatever schooling method you are employing in training your kids at this particular time, yeah. you can also have an expert who, okay. who would teach your kids online using any internet-enabled device. So typically, if you find that your child or your kids are deficient in some subject areas or in some specific areas, or that they're even preparing for a particular exam, that you think they might need external help with, this is the time to, because you are home with them, to monitor them, to check their progress, to see what the real challenges are. That is exactly why we are here. You can't always request for whatever external support that you need from identifying the kind of technology to, the, to use, to having that instructor set up the technology, having an instructor who would yeah. teach them at an agreed time, at their own leisure time, that is exactly why we decided to come up with this platform as a response to the, the current challenge that our world is facing. Yeah. Okay, now before we talk more on virtual um, the virtual teaching that you have, I would like to ask now for parents who have expectations from their kids. A lot of parents, almost every parent has expectations. And the, let's say the kids are not up, reaching up to their expectations. Now, how would you teach parents to manage expectations and manage the reactions from the kids? Because some parents have like high expectations and the kids don't meet up to that. How do, you, how do you teach them at this point to be able to manage those expectations and still help the children to grow? Okay, so it's first realizing that no two kids are the same. Every single child is unique. They have their unique challenges, and they have their own unique learning needs. So in that, in, 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 in that regard, you also expect their learning experiences to be very unique. So which is why awareness of every child is very important. When you are aware of every of your kids, 
it, it brings an entire perspective. It brings a whole new perspective to the conversation. It, it means that what you expect from kit A is different from, from what you expect from kit B. I think it's, it's a bit unfair to have a, a generic expectation from every single child, not putting into account what their unique challenges are, not putting into account what their own specific needs are and what it is that they might need specifically at every single point in time. So yes, and it's very okay to have expectations of your kids because, mm -hmm. but it, again, it's very important to hold this conversation um, every single point in time and for you to align expectations. So you can't just expect a child to perform A or to do X, to do Z, when you are not in sync with that particular child, when you are not in alignment with that child. So yeah. it begins with understanding that child. You need to understand the child. Okay. You need to understand the phase that that child is in his or her development. All you right. need to have conversations with them. You can't have expectations of me that I'm not aware of. Yeah. So you need to, you need to also explain to the kid and you need to let them know why you have these expectations about them. And okay. in some cases, you find that some parents have unrealistic expectations, expectations yes. from their kids because the kids don't even have the enough resources to, to meet these expectations. And yeah. you also find in some cases, they're not even aware. They don't know. They just feel that dad is angry with me. Mom is angry with me. And I, I don't know. That is exactly why you need to be aware of yeah. what these kids are going through. Okay. You need to be aware of the entire being. And you need to also keep having these conversations with them. So okay. if you had an expectation of them and it didn't turn out that ex exactly first, you need to let them know yes. that these are the things that I expect from you as my child. These are the things, and these are the reasons why I expect this from you. from you. And also hear, hear them out. Listen okay. to, they also have their own perspective. Okay. Listen Pastor, to them, sadly hear I'll them out. And sadly, I'll have to cut you now, but that has really been a very insightful conversation. I am sure that parents watching this have learned more than a, teen or a thing or two on how to best bond with their kids. Thank you so much, Ademilego Lower Joba, for joining us. You're welcome. All right, then that was it for how to bond with your kids during this period. If you want to watch more, you can definitely click on um, our YouTube channel and catch up on that. We'll be going on a break and Wake Up Nigeria continues. All right, okay, so welcome back. And we have uh, quite a number of comments here on social media. Um, I would also use today to, um, most of the comments to allay some fears because a number of people are scared. Yeah. A number of people are scared. Um, uh, talking about how um, basic necessities are not available. Now, I was talking to somebody mm -hmm. who I know close to my area and she, she, she has a restaurant or something, right? Oh, okay. and, uh, and then on the first day, I told her that you can open. You still, you have food, essential services. essential services. And she was a bit scared. She was like, no, she also can't stay. So, but by yesterday, which was the third day, I saw that she had hope opened. And she was like, okay, yeah. Now they were scared when the police van passed and all that. I was like, I was like but many people don't even know. No that essential services are supposed to be open, right? So um, essential services are open, and of course, um, the restaurants, you are should, open. restaurants should be should be open, right? Okay, so let's go on Facebook now, and um, okay. let's uh, see your comment, of course, uh, on the one that, uh, on the post that we made about putting your comment. Now, um, I want to refer to this comment, quite interesting. Sami, uh, Jesu Tishe Temi, Jesu Loba says, this situation is pushing me to do something nasty. You expect people to sit at home with no view of any food or palliative measure to caution the effect of the mandatory stay at home. My empire stipend should be paid today, else police go see people catch your course. I've reached my limit of sanity with hunger. Wow. Uh, Sam, you, you, you talk very well. You write very well also. Uh, you should know that. Um, write very well also. Uh, you should know that um, saying or going out, saying you've been pushed to your limit and police go catch, don't try to. They will not hear this uh, stipend and this one you are speaking. Mm -hmm. They hold you down, but please um, hold, uh, keep on holding on. And uh, you, at least you have an empire stipend. Not everybody has a stipend available to them. But hey, come on, it will probably be paid as soon as it can. And yeah. please hold on there. Please hold yeah. on there. Okay, uh, John Maholdan says, enjoy myself with you guys as always at TVC Connect. Uh, Mike, at talk where you're making my day at this quarantine season. I love you guys. Ah, I love you too. I love you too, man. I love you too. 
Yeah, that's it. That's him, yeah. You really know, so this is nice. Right? This is look like somebody I should give a prize here or something. Oh, wow. uh -uh. He snapped with us, and like he snapped watching us. And Aww. you can see him there. That is, of course, that's a picture there from John Maho Dance, who's watching us live. They're giving us cinema effects. <laughs> the whole room is yours, you know, uh, dark there. And uh, Kingsley Friday, of course, um, um, at at Takubi says, this lockdown and stay at home is very difficult for us. Every shop are closed. Now, that's the point. The shops should not all be closed. If you're yeah. selling the essentials, they should be open. Yes. Food and markets. Now, the new uh, rules have been provided for the lockdown, and uh, those rules stipulate that markets should be open from 10 to 2. You understand? Now, so um, how, can we, how can we get things needed to sustain our lives? I know Nigeria is trying to keep us safe from COVID-19 virus because Nigeria cannot keep the six steps of COVID-19, but operation stay at home is not easy. Oh. Yes, we know. Try your best, please. Yeah. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Something sure, uh, Tukpengo says, it's very easy to lose weight and get lean. Remember, an idle mind is a devil's workshop. I know millions are thinking what I'm thinking. Things might get worse, so, okay. Yeah. Um, Abdul Rashid Rufai says, we cannot watch the station clearly in Lagos. If you can't uh, watch it uh, on um, Terrestrial, please, you can go online. And uh, yeah, Facebook here, and of course on our app and all on, on the website, tvcentertainment.tv. Yeah. Danny Silva says, it's like a three years journey on radio. And uh, Rachel says, hi, Mike. Hi, Tokwe. I'm camera shy. Ah, take <laughs> selfie now. Uh, quite interesting. Says, um, Abdul Kudus, KG Town Waduro Simi says, I wrote this the way it's paining me in my heart. So ah. smile and overlook any mistake you come across. It's a quite a long read, but um, he's, he's pain with the situation. Yes, and I, I understand, I, I went through it. It's quite a long read. And I would want to say that um, let's keep up hope the best way that we can. Yeah. If you are around and you can help somebody, please, please do help. help somebody. Help somebody, help a neighbor. Um, get, you know, let's, let's stand for ourselves as much as we can. This is not the time to be mm -hmm. throwing blames. After we're done and we've overcome this, then we can start throwing blames if we and want to. Don't even to. go out to, you want to attack the police, you want to No, please, please. The truth is you are going to please. be the one at the losing end. Mm. You don't know what they will do to you physically. You might lose your life. You know, all these kind of things. You should just avoid it. Mm. If you can help your neighbor, help your neighbor. Help the security man living across. Help the people that used to have kiosks. Just help. Even mm. if it's a, piece, um, a pack of noodles, a pack or of something. pasta, something. Yeah, noodles. You don't I know had noodles helping. yesterday. You know, there was a video. With egg. With a video. Like I that. I sent the video to you. You could check yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, for the doctor. Uh, the, I think it's the doctors or the patients okay. in Nigeria. Okay. At the um, COVID-19 um, the, would I call it the place where the, the patients that test are positive okay. are? So the isolation center. Watch, yeah, the isolation center. Okay. What, what, what was the video about? So they did a video just mm. a, to, to show that it's not a death sentence. It is not a and death sentence. Yes. You know that yes. You that you are home, you shouldn't yes. be losing your mind because mm. they are even giving out positive energy. And I think it's something we should just share for people. Mm. Okay. Would we'll, we'll I'll, yes. I'll get that across. Uh, we'll watch. I'm going to rule out our following. Says, don't ask God. Tell the government to act sincerely. Okay, we've told them. We've told them. While, we've to, while we're telling them, but we're also telling you to yes. be a government of yourself. Ah. To be... Joshua just reminded me something. Talk about you're too serious now. Joshua said, I keep eating meat from the pot. Ah! You keep eating meat. Meat from the pot. <laughs> Joshua says, I keep At eating meat from the pot. Your pot is still uh. flourishing with meat. Don't mm. finish it. We Please, help I... somebody, but it's exactly. your neighbor. Just tell them to come and join you. Be careful, oh, wash your hands before they enter. So ensure that you have a sanitizer. When someone wants to enter, it's give them. Ensure mm -hmm. you have water. Water, you right? You should wash their hands. Mm, wash their hands, yes. Eh? Okay, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll get across to that video. But yesterday, while I get it, you were talking about uh, how I saw you posting pictures. You were feeling like a superstar. I was feeling like an essential like, uh, service worker. Like mm. at that moment, I'm like, you see, when my parents were saying doctor, well, they, mm. didn't really, they didn't actually say that, but my parents were saying, you must be a doctor. Be a yeah. doctor. I said I want to be a journalist, and mm. I felt very useful to my society yesterday. I was walking with all confidence on the streets, about to re to report. Yeah, so that's the video mm. of the patients who actually tested positive. Mm. Yes, so we could see that. Okay.
Frank Cruz lá, Frank Cruz. Oh. Mm. Yeah, so you see, <laughs> that, that video is they're basically just telling us that the best way to do this is stay at home. Don't go mm. around touching people. Don't go, oh, everything, the basic COVID-19 um, steps. Yeah, I yes. wish um, some of us had my slow it down so I can see the inscriptions, but that's what she's saying. Yes. What was uh, basic steps. written down there. So you, you do take care and uh, it, it's, it's not a death sentence. It doesn't mean that you should not be careful. Yeah. But saying that be careful. The, um, I read a report that... Um, the the rate the, inf the 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 mortality rate is even has even is even lower. We thought it was about two point six percent. It's even lower. Yeah. Oh. It's lower than one percent. The mortality rate for okay. um, Corona is even lower than one percent. Um, uh, uh, influenza has a mortality rate of about one percent. Now for COVID nineteen, it is being for now we're looking at zero point six six percent. It's not even up to one percent. It is not a death sentence, it's but at not. the same time, doesn't mean that you should um, be lax. Yeah, right? and a very measures. important thing is while you're at home, while everyone's saying we're eating and drinking, mm. please try as much as possible to to pump more vegetables and fruits into your diet because as much as you're keeping your hands clean, you're staying sanitized, also remember that you need to boost your immune system. Mm. So as much as you're isolating away from everybody, you need to make sure that your immune system is at a very good level. Okay. Take fruits and vegetables. I need to mention on this guy. I need to mention this guy. Hmm? Yeah. Swam. Swam 1512. Says, I feel like getting a gun to rob so as to feel better. I will report this your tweet. Wow. We will watch you. Ogbani, if you try it, they will shoot you with a gun. No, so don't try it. I, 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 I hope this is a joke. I, I yeah? really want to believe it. I hope this is a joke. It to us. But Ogbani, be careful, though. That gun that, that you want to go and not to rob. Please calm down. Please calm, calm down. down. I know that the government is pushing relief materials to different local government areas. Yes. It might not be as effective when it comes to um, disseminating those materials as we expect, mm -hmm. but they are doing something. Yes. They are doing something. So please, eh, just uh, hold it, eh, hold it. Eh. Yeah, please go to your neighbor's house. Mm. Ask for food. I'm sure there won't be wicked people at this point. Exactly. Yes, um, uh, someone here says, we feel you. Uh, this is at first thing, says, it's really hard on me. No money. Um, mm. we, so, like, like I said, find out, you are on the internet, so that okay. shows that you have, find out what area the government will be um, sending relief materials that are close to your area. I know they share on Agege local government, I know Agege, I don't know the other government, but you are on the internet now. Find out the places where they are sharing relief materials, where they are giving uh, things out and all of that. Uh, please find out the closest one to you and uh, see what you can do, try to get some uh, um, some materials there to help yourself, right? Please, eh? We, uh, we understand that it's uh, kind of tight at this particular point in time, but hey, come on. Uh, you're on the internet, that's, that's one plus. Yes. That's that one plus. That's you what have, you have data. Internet. You have data. You can also de just divide that data money. Mm. Buy some noodles. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right. And uh, that's all. Quite a we lot. The now. comments are still coming in. Yeah. Out of our 54 reactions, quite a lot there. We'll still take them. On the third lap of the show, the second lap is done. There's still much more to come. Don't go nowhere. Two hours, two laps gone. The final lap, 45 minutes. I bet there's no better way to start a day. Now, in spite of all the negativity or pessimism and fear out there, we will do our best to ensure that we brighten your day. Yes, now find all that makes you happy and engage yourself. Trust me, mm. tough times don't last, but, but tough people <laughs> hey, do. Hey, <laughs> I like that one. Okay, my name is Mike Messicano. And I am tough by alone, alone here. Mm. Imagine me forgetting my son name because I'm being a tough person. It happens, it happens. COVID-19, you ain't got nothing on us. At all, We're going to wash our hands, we're going to sanitize, and we're going to practice social distancing. Of course, we now, would. You, you of course. can stream with us live at uh, uh, TVC Entertainment TV and on Facebook at TVC Connect. Send no. in your comments. We would love to hear from you. See how Mike sat down and analyzed the comments one by one. He's like, you guys, daddy around here. He cares about you all.
I'm not your daddy. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just I'm not. That. Now, of course, uh, you should download our app also. It's available on iOS and Android stores. You can watch us live also on the app, apart from our website, TVC Entertainment or TV, and of course, on Facebook at TVC Connect. Yes. Now, we still have exciting content on standby for you. So, let's bring some mm. of the highlights. Of course, uh, on our display, we have Sylvester Aguda, who will join us via Skype to tell us what he has been up to. And of course, we'll be taking a look at some of his uh, wonderful art works. We are also going to be joined live on Skype by the ex Big Brother Ninja housemate and photographer and model Toby Bakre for a quick chat. Mm. <laughs> that video right. is interesting. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. That's uh, that's it. Uh, like I said, the positive vibe. So let, let, let's push it. Let's go yes. up there. Let's let's. Um, Share hmm. positive energy. I, I, okay, this is what I'll do. I'll ensure that um, by tomorrow we'll work on it. Awesome. Um, as producers and here, we'll work on it to ensure to see where we, we uh, to get the, the shadow for relief materials. Yes, sharing of, so people can yes, know. Yes, so we can to know. We'll, we'll, we'll do a, extra work on that one and ensure that probably by tomorrow, the next time we come on here, we'll get that across to you. Yeah. Uh, so that for those, because it's, I mean, a number of people, yes, they, they are finding it hard to go by. We yes. can't push away the fact, that reality that, yes, you know, a number of people hard. are having hard times at this particular point in time. Yes. Then for some that even have the money, they don't even have where to get the food because places around them are not open. Open, yeah. People are scared. But I mean, markets have now been open from 10 a.m. to 2 Yes, that's the directive, but not everybody knows that. Oh, this. So okay. a lot of people are scared and they don't want to go open. Yes. But like, if it's food you are selling, if you're in distribution mm. and processing of food, as according, as per the address by uh, President Muhammad Buhari, then you actually are exempt from the lockdown. But now there's a time frame, 10 o'clock to 2. You understand? 10 o'clock yeah. to 2. You can, uh, you understand? 10 o'clock to 2, so you can you, open. You see this, in, in layman English, mm. Mike is trying to say food, if you sell food, mm. and if you have restaurants, if you sell food items, and if yes. you have a restaurant that sells cooked food, mm. You can open. See you food can processing open. Exactly. And Break please, also a very big shout out to our security agencies. You are doing quite a lot. Um, yes, they are also are. from the, uh, the LNSC, Lagos uh, Neighborhood Security Corps, yeah. um, uh, to members of uh, the police force, uh, the army, and all of that. They are doing a great job. Yes. But at the same time, we need to ensure, or we need to appeal to them that yes. they should also temper things down. Because some people yes. who are even into food distribution are saying that they are being harassed, even medical staff. I oh, don't wow. know how true that is, but yes. reports have been that med look, medical staff are the number one. They should, if you see medical staff come, they add a car. Add themselves. Add extra security card to take to this where they want to go to. Please, as in, I feel like even in essential services, there's the essential. Essential of the essential. There's essential. -er. <laughs> then there's essentialists. <laughs> Do you understand? So maybe we in media, we are essential. But, but when it's Medicare, <laughs> those people are essentialists. <laughs> Do you understand? X2. <laughs> X2. They are the number one. Yes. Very big shout out to all medical staff, all yes. healthcare. Those, those, see, those, please, if you see They're them. They're like our heroes. Not yes. like they are our heroes yes. right now. Let's appeal to security. If you see them, add one security card to their to convoy. Hurry, Let them move faster, move faster to wherever and they're going everybody to. Everybody now should try as much as possible to. I know it's, it's our nerves are a bit on the high now. Mm. So I think we should try as much as possible to be calm because I was on my way home yesterday and mm. so people were trying because there are a lot of roadblocks. Road because blocks, you eh? have to show your ID card before you oh, pass. Wow. And a lot of people are like, ah, allow me go now. Eh? We understand that you're essential services, but just calm. Calm down, down. calm down. Because everybody's I'm you. everybody's so, edgy. Uh, yes, I, I I met I met I I had gone to some stops and all of that and then they stopped me and then I and then of course the car has a press ticket and all of that yes. and then I had to once I show my ID, ID card. card Cool, great. They say, ah, how are you doing now? How are everything now? Ah, so you see, we did road though. I didn't go out. Oh, well done. God bless you. Yeah. Keep up the good And if you can be kind maybe, enough, maybe nice gist, and then we move on. enough to give them a bottle of water. They're standing I, under the sun. Like, wow. Be kind. Now you say so. I should. I really should. Yes. Take 
buy water or something. That, that, that's not a bad idea. To give them a bottle that's of not water a bad idea. You understand? So, you know, as much as you are rushing and all that, please don't get, um, don't be bellicose. Don't be bellicose. Don't try to, you know, ginger them. Don't be aggressive. Yes. Don't be confrontational. Mm -hmm. Right? Everybody has their Just personal problems that they are dealing with. As much as they are doing their job, mm. remember that they have homes as well. They do. They and have they live... families. Oh. And they don't know how they are faring at that mm. time. So at that time. remember that they are as human as you as are, you and are. they just might react. Hmm. So just everybody just think for the next person. But there's something you said which is very, which I like, and you said because of there are not people around selling water or people yes. that cook and all that, it would be nice it's to get them really a drink nice. or something. Yeah. If you can even have some packaged food and all that, it's not a bad it's idea. It's not a bad idea at I thought, but sure you don't want to cook some packaged. But I, 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 I gave water yesterday. <laughs> eh, but yes. to, I, I know you, 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 I know you have some cooking services and all yeah, that. But if the thing is, if you, if you bring the raw ingredients, <laughs> I will gladly cook. You bring the raw ingredients, I eh? will gladly cook. Right, right now, what I have is just the one that's can. <laughs> The Major, one that can, that can take care of you <laughs> and yourself in yes, a car. I, okay, so if you arrange the raw materials. If you bring the raw materials, I will cook gladly. If I will cover the cooking live. <laughs> Talk about preparing food for our for essential services. Our essential services so that anyone you meet across the road, you, yes, you, you encourage, encourage them by we that, by that token. Pack. That's yes. very nice. That's very, very nice something and all of that. Very cool. <laughs> and for, um, I'm not sure you shouldn't be playing football on the street. No, right? you shouldn't it's, not be, advisable. Shouldn't be. it's not advisable. I mean, the professional footballers. If the professional footballers are at home, <laughs> people that will get paid to do it are at home, what does it say? So if you want to play football, yeah, in the best case scenario, you know, just uh, more, if you want to play monkey pose, you know, post to pose, <laughs> one person they want to be shooting so that you can maintain social distancing. <laughs> because I know that some people they will know they will want to play that ball. Yeah, they just want to play that ball. You understand? Or your touch a post to post. What I used to do when I was small, we had a wall. It? I don't know what it's called. Okay. So I'll kick the ball to the wall. The wall will come back. Ah, I'll kick nah, it back. Normal, normal. So it's you normal. and the wall alone. Exactly. <laughs>Thank you uh, for staying with us so far. And uh, now we'll have our art segment. So Vesta Aguda is a passionate and prolific contemporary artist whose art reflects his love for Africa. Now his art media includes collage, mixed media, spray on canvas, photo art, and photography. Now he joins us here via Skype to talk about his reach in color and his style at works. Hello, Sylvester, how are you doing? Hello, Mike. How are you? I am good. How are you holding up this period at home? I hope I hope you are staying safe, my brother. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. And you, how are you holding up this period? Yeah, I'm just we're praying and we're keeping safe, taking all protective measures. Okay. And uh, making sure that uh, we stay indoors. All right. Wonderful. Great one. So let's talk about your journey as an artist. How did it start for you? Uh, it's been passion, something I've always loved to do right from when I was a child. You know, I find myself doing a lot of sketch when I'm restless. I think I was one of those children who, were, who was very restless uh, growing up. So I channeled my energy in drawing. Okay. And, you know, I didn't know that much later in life I was going to become a full-time artist. But mm. I started all this when I was in the university. I started from sketches to handmade cards. And now I do collage art on a very large medium. Okay, so um, can you can you differentiate between the different artworks you call now? There's spray works, there's collage, and all of that. What are the different um, classifications of the artworks you do? Okay, my major medium is collage. Uh, Eighty percent of what I do is collage, and the collage just involves using different kind of materials and putting them together, especially cardboard sheets, fabrics, and all that to make uh, works. You know, so it's all about using various kinds of stuff. You know, it's, it's endless. Then I do spray paint on canvas, uh, which requires me using spray to make it create impressions. And then sometimes I do photo art, which is taking photography, uh, taking pictures and then bringing, transferring them to artworks. Mm. That's a uh, painting behind you. What, uh, what form, what medium of art is that? Uh, this is acrylic on canvas. Okay. Can you tell, can you, let's talk about that painting. Yeah. What, 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 what were you trying to depict in that painting, the one behind you? Okay, this, this painting behind me is actually a friend's work. Okay. One of the things I do is to also encourage other artists. So I have a platform that promotes upcoming artists, uh, some artists who have some very good skills. So this was given to me by a friend who came on one of my programs. Uh, and 
is actually Omo Baba by name. Mm. I like what you do because it's quite uh, unique because considering that uh, people in the same profession tend not to share works of people who are because they see them as competition, right? What inspires you? you don't you see other people who are in the same thing you do or artists? Don't you see them as competition? Why would you want to go so far as displaying somebody's own? This is something that is not usual, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I get this question a lot, especially when we have exhibitions uh, featuring other artists. Uh, the, the world is a big world. I believe there's a market for everybody. Mm. Like my mom will always say, when you go into the market, they have where they call the Gary Lane, the Pamoya Lane, and you have hundreds of people selling the same thing, but each person goes home making some money. And, um, you know, I've been blessed to, get the, to have the platform and sponsorship to promote my work. In the last three to four years, I've had over 48 exhibitions, about uh, 38 solos. And uh, I just I just feel it, I shouldn't be greedy. I should mm. be able to share this platform with other artists. Mm. And then I get my sponsors to also promote them. It's I like all that. about giving. And, you know, you never lack when you give so much. I like that. I can uh, personally relate with you, Kid Red Spirit, because I feel, I also feel that the sky is enough in my profession. It doesn't just have to all be about me. But then you also have some paintings here, which, uh, of course, you put to us. I would, we'll, talk, we'll talk more about them. There's one that I really love, uh, which is, if there's a game we could play during this isolation period, is golf, because golf is one very, very isolated game. You are alone trying to hit a shot and all of that. But you had this painting of somebody playing golf. What inspired that painting? Okay. Um, what, what's the title? Is it is it the one that has the world map? Yes. Yes. Is it Where, the one that has okay. So there's somebody who's playing golf into the horizon, like a sea, a river, or something, an ocean. Um, the hole is in the ocean, and then the person is playing from the grass and uh, green grass, of course, background and all of that. Uh, golf. It, it was golf you were trying to, uh, or maybe that was uh, somebody else's own that you exhibited or something. Oh, I, I wish I could see them. Um, but most of the works I have actually, okay. uh, I have not seen that image. I can't really picture it because I've done quite a lot of work. I understand. But I most understand. Of my works are I understand. I understand. Okay, so you spoke about, um, you, do, you also do acrylic on canvas, right? You also do acrylic on canvas, right? I do um, spray paint on canvas. Okay. I do a mixture of acrylic with uh, with other mediums. Uh, I try to do something a bit different from what the regular artists do. Mm. You know, mm. I I want to do something that people art has gone beyond what it used to be. When I mean what I mean is that every art I don't really see any art as ugly. Previously, I used to criticize other people's works and I say, well, what's this? But it takes a lot to do this thing. So I try to do something different. And my acrylic is not the same with what the regular artists do from day to day. All right. I love what you said. There's the evolution in the way you think and in the way you appreciate art. Now, digitization is something that has seeped into virtually every, every sphere of business and all of that. How much has digitization affected the artist? Because now we have a lot of softwares that can, you know, make something look like it was painted. You can make something uh, abstract art, uh, acrylic. You can, you can pick up someone's picture, pass it through a software, and then it looks like an acrylic picture. You know, there's a lot that digitizing has done to a lot of professions. How has the art profession been able to, you know, um, move or work in these times where you have uh, digitized platforms that can do almost what artists do? Yes, that's uh, that's a very big challenge, but you know there is there is something about originality. Um, I'm not disputing the fact that the aids of technology and using devices uh, to do art has really changed um, when you do a masterpiece. Now, I will not also say that there are people who do digital art who use computers and all that. It doesn't come easy at all. It's a lot of work. You know, art comes from the heart. People, it's not the it's not the mind thing. It's not from the head. It comes from the heart. It comes from inside. So if you see somebody being able to manipulate or is able to use technology to achieve a creativity, I think it's a plus. But there are still people who like them the old school who believe if it is not uh, handmade, then it is not you know a masterpiece. But I tend to disagree. 
We are all skilled in different ways. Some people, it's photography, they use their cameras. There are so many photographers, but there are some pictures you see and you know that, yes, this, this, this is a masterpiece. So the same applies to all forms of art, uh, if I understand clearly from your question. Technology uh, aids you to do some more things better. It's, it actually gives you better precision when it comes to some of the designs, if you want to do some designs. But, you know, art is, there is no technique to art or there is no particular style. Mm. It all depends on the output or the outcome of what it is finally. And, and the audience, the people who you are presenting to, everybody has an audience and everybody has a collector. That's, that's the way I see it. All right. Thank you very Beat much. Technology or, yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Sylvester. It was inspiring talking to you. At least one take home for me would be that of saying that the sky is as broad and can take as many people. Keep on inspiring and keep on doing what you are doing. And stay safe, you and the family. My regards to the family. Thank you, my brother. All right. Stay safe, Mike. All right. Thank you very All much. Right. Bye-bye. Okay. So, Vesta, a wonderful way to end the show, eh? Yeah. It's inspiring. I love what he said, yes. you know, about um, being... Staying uh, on other people's works. Be, you know, yes, there's competition, we know, but at times your space yeah. is your own space, yeah. right? Space is your own space. Okay. Oh, I don't know if we can take one comment, one or two comments yeah, on social media. Be able to I don't know if we, we, if we have time, I'm just one or two comments before we wrap up. It's been a wonderful time. Thank you for those of you who've been part of the show yes. from the beginning up until this point. Thank you for your comments. Like I said, we'll find a way to work on... Um, you know, getting uh, where relief materials will be shared and all of that, you know, to people. I don't know if we can take some, uh, uh, some comments. comments. Yeah, uh, uh, someone spoke about uh, Surulere area, about, uh, you know, security there and all of that. Uh, would would and you would see what we can do about informing the relevant authorities there, yeah. you know, and all of that. And uh, yeah, you know, remember we're talking about day three, uh, day three of uh, the lockdown yeah. and all of that. Mm? Yeah, mm -hmm. the three of the lockdown. Let's keep on holding up. Let's keep on holding up and keep up the best. Uh, let's Dami Larry says okay. it has encouraged him, him or, he or her to study and learn new things. Mm. I'm encouraged that you are encouraged. Mm. This is the first <laughs> person I'm seeing saying they are studying. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if we can see one comment or two before we, before we round up. I don't know if yeah. we can see that. Can we see one comment or two? Mm. Mm? Okay, all right. It's been a wonderful time. A big shout out to everyone who's been a part of the show. Thank yes. you. And Thank uh, you we'll so see much. you tomorrow. Bye bye. All right, bye. Mwah.